quite not sure whether it is recording or it's not. Uh, the whole thing just basically resetted itself, but pretty much this is the only option that I have. I am recorded. I have recorded what you are watching right now already. Today I have wasted maybe three hours on this stuff. Yesterday again three hours. Uh, the thing is that you can record stuff like you see right now I am recording and you don't actually even know when you are disconnected from recording because this thing is so I don't like to use bad words but it's done in a such a way that you're stopped whenever you're doing and uh, in a manner that whatever you have recorded you cannot even see basically what have you recorded like for instance the cases with all these videos here it looks just just like this it does not it would not go and it would not play the video uh, you cannot upload this to the internet anything you can do nothing with it really and the worst part again is that you don't even know when you are stopped uh, from recording I'm gonna be very specific about I have used the following programs a screen touch, a screen recorder, and top recorder. These three features, three programs, uh, I was not capable to do anything with it, really, uh, just as I have explained. What exactly is this video going to be about? In this video, I will discuss about the Google. I will discuss about the Google, which is does not care about, does not even care about... Uh, does not even allow me to log myself inside of the Google account, which is crazily outstanding. Just for minutes I have attempted to log myself inside, but was stupid enough to at 11.20 today, but basically I have wasted, we're talking about almost maybe five hours today on this issue and not to count the days before because it does not allow me to log myself inside of the youtube account already for like three weeks um, this is not nice because i provide google with verification codes which are sent to me and with a second security feature which is code sent to my email address despite my providing these features to the google Google would not allow me to log myself inside of the account. But I was stupid enough the last time to send them a message that they were video recorded. My mistake. Uh, this time, I see that when I did request it for the code, it was not only was not sent to me, but I see that somebody called to this number here. But the, the tragedy here is that... Um, well, actually, there is no tragedy, okay? The tragedy is that Google works along with the people here from this center. This is a huge plot, a huge conspiracy. And it's not that something would be in my head. These people have committed a tremendous crime against me, and they have every reason to do that. Blogger is completely censored. Uh, they are indicating, like, completely funny numbers, let's say, if I demonstrate you. I mean, bizarre numbers, bizarre stuff, totally bizarre stuff is happening, really. This, uh, I, I hope you understand that a blogger pertains to a Google, YouTube pertains to Google. I hope you understand that. So, this is, this is basically what blogger indicates to me as a views. Now, if you would multiply this number here with a thousand, I would be still very skeptical about it, to be honest with you. If you compare my YouTube account with Japanese sites, and then you can see the difference is uh, very, very evident. On YouTube, it indicates maybe two, three previews, something like this, maybe up to 10 previews. On a Japanese site, it's indicating hundreds of views. Uh, in one case, I actually have like I have had over 10,000 views on a Japanese site and I have had on Google maybe like, uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 or something like that. 
So what they're doing actually really was helpful to the people who have tormented me in Slovenia. Uh, people, this kind of people were assisted by Google directly because Google discredited me with stuff that I have just explained. Now this uh, latest feature that I cannot even log myself into my main um, YouTube channel and this lasted about three weeks. This I have not had opportunity to deal with in the past. It's still recording, that's good to know. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, the first thing I would love to demonstrate is my attempts, my previous attempts to log in inside of the account. Um, these are just um, my complaints. I started to complain to them. It was not really a smart thing to do. Um, it doesn't make any sense, really. It's the stupid thing to do. You let them know what you're doing, and then they know what to do, basically. Uh, you get damaged. Uh, the best way would be to record this stuff, but this is not possible because these people here in this place do the damage, big damage, as much as possible they can do. They delete stuff from my telephone, from my tablet. They hack the things, they change, they modify settings. It's all kinds of stuff that goes on. That's why Google can also do the stuff like this, or I should say, it's all synchronized very well. Not only with, the, with these people from the center, but also outside of the center. I would prompt you to watch the video titled as 3 of 4, part 3 of 4, Varsho's connection outside of the immigration center in Grotniki. Uh, and that's basically I explained that library, which was closed the entire week except for yesterday, but that's not really determined whether it was closed or not. Because I no longer, you can no longer determine when it's going to be open. We don't get even advance note about the closure of the public library or whatever. Um, we just get like papers in the door and even when it says that library is going to be closed for the day, uh, it might open sometimes during the day and then you are actually told that you are mentally sick because you have assumed that a library is going to be closed for the day uh, even that it was closed and even that it was just a portion of the day that was open and stuff like that. So you don't know anymore really what's going on. You don't know what to expect for the next day. Um, this is just a situation right now. And along with all this stuff uh, comes also Google. Uh, also this, this kind of Google issue. Uh, Google, in other words, would not allow me to log myself in my YouTube account despite my providing them with number one with verification codes from Gmail, from the second Gmail account, which are, I have provided as a security feature simultaneously with a code which is sent to my telephone number. This is something you already have seen. Uh, just to point out this issue again, let's do it. We're going to do it like this. Google, despite all this, would not allow me to log myself inside of the account, even when I provide these things. Uh, another thing is that even when one opportunity it gave me to log myself inside of the account uh, demanded for me to change the password on what uh, the password login once i logged in was rejected by google blocked and is gesturing me that he does not know the password and stuff like this so i don't know anymore you know sometimes this is a situation they have created that it's very confusing. You would not even know what to think anymore because you think right, but in return, you basically, you get punished. You get punished. 
since you're here, please pay attention to the percentage of the telephone charge. Uh, you're going to see that with the time, despite my not doing absolutely anything, and despite the screen being almost completely off, the telephone is just discharging. And it's discharging, it's doing like this because it was modified. The charger gets heated, it gets hot. Uh, you're talking about one charger stolen again and another one modified. First was switched with some other charger. Then the difference between that charger that basically did not function and this one, there absolutely was really none. So you can see me charging the telephone and basically telephone getting discharged and this is the main functionality of these people here at the center these people try to basically drive you insane and along with all this stuff and who knows where the money is coming for for this a google comes along now i have a huge claim against the google so what really is going on and inside of the center and outside of the center and goes to the level of google corporation go figure out yourself let's go and hopefully i will be able to demonstrate to you what the, what went on uh i don't know why they give me the phone call now you see it this was like they never give me a phone call whatever this is now all of a sudden i get a phone call but again you know i don't have a feature to get this phone call because yesterday i was trying to record since librarian told me that told us that we have to call her to find out if the library is going to be open because it's going to be her boss is going to tell her if the library is going to be open imagine this uh, we have to call her because why because it's good because you waste time calling her doing stuff you're not supposed to do and especially it's good because of the residents inside of this center here inside of this room i have individual and across the hallway that have uninstalled, that have stolen my property, repeatedly burglarized the property, and uninstall features that come along with this telephone. There is no dialer, uh, original, they have modified things. Yeah, I couldn't call yesterday, no matter what, I have installed several programs on this thing here, dialers and so on, I, and I just couldn't make not even a phone call, but this is exactly the idea. They pile a bunch of things this things pile up top of another then they use certain issue to uh, trigger all that stuff and so all those issues kind of a fall on you because there is really nothing you can do you cannot even upload anything to youtube not only you cannot go to the library which is deliberately closed so these people can burglarize your property and delete your files from the telephone this is the exact idea because you cannot transfer files not from recorder from anything anywhere that's why this is done nor can you upload do absolutely anything about anything not even log yourself inside of the youtube account not do nothing i mean this stuff can be really frustrating especially if you work on youtube if you are a video creator if you're a blogger and stuff like that that is really insane and it's expensive and far away because the nearest library from here is about 10 kilometer walk one way so you have both ways it adds up to 20 kilometers so that google seems like have bitten this bait and have just uh, you know make their own little slice in it you know they contribute quite big time for me to waste time on the issues like this on a nonsense so i'm going to use as a verification tool as a login tool i should say i'm going to use google chrome and i am going to use uh, let me see if i'm still recording i still am recorded uh, recording and i'm going to use as a verification full a uh, messaging option and i'm going to use uh, basically my telephone number uh, and I'm going to use a, a secondary verification tool. I'm going to use a UC browser, uh, you know, as a second Gmail account where the code is going to be sent. And we're going to see what's going to happen. I don't know. After three weeks, maybe, uh, <laughs> you know, I gestured and they are video recorded. I might actually be even allowed to log in 
inside of my account which is pretty insane I have not heard for anything like this yet uh, that you would provide uh, the two verification security features and you would not be allowed to log yourself inside of your account uh, but then again, again at the same time you would have uh, people logging themselves through the proxy servers this was exactly the password that Google allowed me to set, the new password, on what I would, mm, sorry, this is another, this is a password from another account, that is not correct one, and I'm not going to give the other one, this is not correct, this is another password, that was my mistake. Um, and would allow them to log themselves inside of my account through, uh, not I would allow them to log uh, to log inside of my accounts through proxy proxies and through other devices and so on my device is the one you see right here a850 uh, but would not allow me to lock inside of a log myself inside of my account through this device from whom he is requiring and you know very well that the Chrome is got Google Chrome has got specific number, verification number. You know that this specific device has got a specific verification number and so on. Uh, the telephone number, this is, I mean, come on, they send you a code to your telephone number. Uh, you make verification along with uh, a second Gmail account and they would not allow me to log myself inside of my account for already three weeks. It's bizarre. Really, this is bizarre. Uh, and so this thing here does not work. Google send notification to your Lenovo 850, tap yes on the notification to continue. I don't know why this thing is not working. The fact of the matter is the whole thing is screwed up. And for that matter, the police should talk to the neighbor across the hallway and my roommate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead use my telephone number. Verification code to, to what? To my telephone number. This is my telephone number. Okay? So, let's see exactly what's going to happen now. Let's see if I eventually get my phone number. Phone number. Very, very important. Okay? So, let's see what exactly is going to happen if I really do receive that. Um, I did receive the code. That's, that's a good to go. 537976, 537-976 nine seven six i believe it was the code no five three seven nine seven six was it now they're asking me for the second verification method and that would be my gmail account which you're about to see five three seven nine seven six i just want to verify i just want to make sure that this is the correct number i have entered inside Five three seven nine seven three six. Five three seven nine seven. Five three seven nine seven six. You see it right there. It was the correct number. It was a correct verification. Now I am also going to go ahead and I will fulfill the second Google requirement to log in myself. Set new password into Google account, and we're going to see exactly what is about to happen. We're going to use this one right here. I'm going to copy this thing here. Uh, you can see, pretty much, you can see the time. The time is delayed because this is from the U.S. and we are right now in the Europe, okay? So don't get scared of that thing. Uh, let's see this thing again. Verification codes. Let's see this thing here again.
uh, your Google account recovery request. Let's see this thing here. We're going to do it like this. Uh, it looks to me like nothing really arrived here. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, I will go ahead and I'm going to request, re-request this thing here because I don't see it. I don't actually see this verification uh, code that, that would be sent to me in any way. Uh, get verification, I guess I did not press this here. This is my mistake, that is true. Okay, so it was sent, finally it was sent. I apologize for this. I would just want to get rid of this, uh, get over with and move on with other stuff. This is totally bizarre stuff that's happening here. I'm not going to say it's unnecessary because it's very, very necessary. It's very, very necessary for these people here and for the Google. There you go. Here is what it is. Definitely this is the code. So let's go and enter this babe here and we're going to see exactly what is going to happen. I already have provided the code that was sent on my telephone number. Now, let's go and we're going to see what is going to happen now with this thing here. When did I create this Google account? You know, I apologize, but I do not remember when I created one. Uh, I did create one sometimes, I estimate, in 2013, but could have been also 14. Um, maybe even, no, I doubt it, 14 I say, 13, 14, but I really do not remember, I do not remember this, and I am really, really sorry that I have provided, again, I have provided with a code that was sent to my telephone number, and also to my Gmail account, and also that this was verified through practically through my telephone and that I just somehow I am not just is just not good enough for a Gmail but then again uh, that people from I'm not gonna say these are people from Nigeria or whatever they logged in they of course they are not they have no reason to go and hack my account these are the people right here from Europe from US that steal this thing here they steal the passwords they do this kind of stuff and they use even proxies to log themselves into my blogger account, modify one, play with one, and stuff like that. And Facebook and so on. So these things are not good. It's bad. It's a very bad security. It's the worst thing that possibly can be as a security. And in fact, this is a harassment. And yes, all this stuff is not happening by coincidence. This is not happening by coincidence. This thing was triggered. Like I said, it all triggered at the same time. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm done with this stuff here. I'm not going to go and record this stuff anymore. Uh, it's bizarre. Uh, I attempted, I did not even know how to record this stuff. Okay, how am I going to even record what you see right now? How to do this stuff? How are you going to go and record this when you have spent, I don't know, six, ten hours, ten hours just trying to record and you couldn't record anything? What to do? So I went over my belongings today. Today on a date, you can see today date and date and time here. Date, time, right here we're gonna do it. This is the date and time. I went over my belongings, I pulled them out of the bed, and I searched for the small camera that I have and was desperately attempting to use that. On which opportunity somehow I did set, but just partially, partially on my tablet with a keyboard this is well protected even so it's well protected uh, it would not cause any damage it would does not cause any harm but really after six months in this situation i am in and with this specific roommate uh he managed to take a snap of me of of uh, with his android on how basically i sit on my tablet 
believe me there is no harm to my tablet my tablet is okay but because of the stuff like this tomorrow maybe just already might be smashed against the wall or whatever and might look completely in a different uh shape than it it is today okay so i got to mention this uh for my own sake uh no i did not sit on one i have just on a side it was leaned toward my ass like this that you know i could feel that it would i would not create harm to one or whatever but you know these people are just trying to use all the stuff they have done you're just desperate to get any kinds of stuff anything they could use and gesture and lie and so on and so forth all right folks uh thanks for watching this video four months with this individual uh tough situation yesterday not even able to capable to complete the phone call i have installed i don't know how many programs additional dialers that you see did not come with this telephone uh the original stuff was deleted it was modified screwed up when it comes to keyboards i am using already i don't know how many keyboards uh i don't know which keyboard this is now i'm using a cheetah keyboard because all other keyboards whenever i would install them they will be all screwed up uh, it just takes once for them to burglarize the property during the sleep during the night rest and the next day everything is screwed up and so then you have to uninstall the program reinstall new programs and so on and so forth anyhow the telephone is not doing well this thing android is screwed up it's messed up uh, but so be it this should be a matter for the police and then again there is no police anywhere in sight uh, so that's all I want to say in respect to this video uh, you can see now it's only 47% that is left because it's, this, is a, this is a normal here and that's actually quite good because regardless of what I do um, this is just a, t a situation which I'm going to have to reserve separately the telephone is just uh, discharging and discharging and discharging and so on and so forth so um right now what you see this was recorded with a powersoft screen recorder which i have uploaded to the tablet just before i started to record this thing that's why i have made it through peace thank you very much they didn't figure out this one uh till next time